In this video, we're going to see how we became the indoor champions of Middlesex. The year before, we had just come off victorious in the Lords Indoor Tournament. We set our sights on becoming county champions, so we entered the Middlesex League and we changed the way indoor cricket was being played. Having cruised through every match, our toughest opponent was the semi-final, which was against Hampstead, where they scored something like 120 in 10 overs, which was a stiff target, but we knocked it off with one over to go without losing a wicket. Here we are in the final against Harrowtown, and opening the bowling was one of those new players, is Shaftab Khalid, the England A International uh, Worcester Pro. And here you go, the Ospina International. And he bowls a beamer. Class delivery to start off the campaign. Beamer first ball. It's hard to adjust with the wind ball, so he's taking a one delivery to now put the ball on the spot. And the rules of the competition are if you hit the side walls, that's one run. If you run, that's two runs. And you can be caught off the walls. And the only way to score a boundary is hitting the back wall without hitting any of the side walls. So the way we revolutionised the indoor league was every team was going in saving the back boundary by having a mid on a mid off. We didn't do this. I was more content of saving the singles and hitting the wall and people running. I would rather give away the four but not give away the free runs because the more likely they would be running the free than hitting the four. And as you can see there, he just hit a four. And that's a bit of a misfield there and that's four runs as well. I mean, we hardly get hit for any four, so this is quite surprising seeing this in the whole league. That's another free run. This is one of the most expensive overs we've seen from one of our bowlers. We've been very tight in our bowling. So no team in the league has got a spinner, so as we had a spinner, I thought let me just open with him and that's what we're going to do. Shaftab opened the bowling and he went for 15 runs in the first over. So here comes one of our regulars, Naz Ali. Throughout the tournament his stats have been declining. As you can see here, he keeps the bowling back of a length too much. There's another back of a length with a bit of width and that's a wide. The rules here are also wides are very tight so anything which is um, half the distance of a normal wide is a wide in indoor cricket and that's another wide there. That's another wide there so you just have to make sure the ball is always delivered at the batsman. I mean, the way I see it is you've got to pitch the ball up. That's a good ball. You've got to keep it straight. You've got to pitch the ball up. You've got to give the ball a chance to swing. And they're 20 for zero. So here's a new over. Now first ball is bowled a half volley, but that's a pretty good shot. Come down the wicket and you hit it for four. So really, this is a good start by the opposition. And there you go. Next ball, he's got his revenge. He's just kept it outside off. He spun it away. The guys come down the wicket. And the keeper's taking a good stumping. So that's the first wicket down. That's two overs. That's 2.2 .2 overs. One for 24. Not really worried about the start because at the end of the day, we usually chase down 15 and over quite easily. And that is quite plump to me, but the umpire hasn't given that. And that's a great stop there. And he's just saved one run. That's for Hunt and early at square leg, he's a new player. And next ball is delivered a full toss and hit down the ground for another four. So that's four fours already off Shaft Urban. I've never seen somebody hit four fours off a whole innings from us. That's a good shot there, just found the gap. And it's another wide backward length delivery which you got away with. That's one run off the wall. You don't have to hit the ball that hard towards the wall. The way to bat is just to tap the ball and run. So what I've seen so far from Naz is every single ball he's bowled has been back of a length outside off. He's bowled so many wides. I've now put a 3-1 offside field. And the first ball, he bowls it on the leg side. Oh my god, it makes me look well stupid after that. Bowling all those balls outside off and now he bowls it down leg side. And that's a wide ball. That's another wide. But thankfully, the players actually hit it straight up in the air, so it's got one run off the top wall. There's another back of them ball, he's got slapped down the ground for four. I mean, there you go, he pitched the ball up, and then now that's actually a really good shot. He picked the gap, and that's exactly how you have to bat. So the first nine for one. That's one run off the wall. 
For the spinner you make sure you have point and square leg quite straight and then um, for the seam builders you get them right into the corner. That's a wide but he's actually here for single so this is what you don't do when you get a wide. Just outside off there and the batsman's missed it because he's pitched the ball up. So I've got quite a straight mid wicket and an extra cover. Usually I have them more closer, but because Shaft's been hit for four fours, I made sure that I've tried to cover that gap here. And here comes the next bird. That's myself. The one that says I'm a spinner for Surrey. But I am also a fast bowler. So back in the day, I was about fast bowler. Well, when I say fast bowler, I'm talking about lollipop medium pacer. <clears throat> so here it is first ball on the button. That's generally me bowling. I'm very consistent. I rate myself as one of the Glenn McGrath bowlers out there. I would usually keep it really straight in the corridor. That's it, me fielding. That's three dot balls or something like that. Coming off the indoor Lords tournament, I was averaging six with the ball, and I was only going for five runs and over, which is unbelievable. It was like three times better than most bowlers. And that has to be the worst slow ball I've seen in my life. I'm never going to bowl that again. That's a good ball and that's a massive misfield there. I mean the fielder just runs in, wrong foots himself and just lies on the ground. That ball's right next to him. He hasn't even put a hand out. That's just poor fielding. And the next bowler is the new boy for Hunton Early. He's been brought up into the final because we're all two players short. And here he comes. And if you watch his action, it's like a horse running in. But to be honest, I don't mind because he pitches the ball up as you see there. Okay, that's a wide, but he's doing the right thing of pitching the ball up. Now he's complaining to the umpire to find out what a wide actually is. And the umpire's telling him, full on, you and mate, just go back and ball your dolly drops here, yeah, let me do the umpire ring. And he's gone for the swing and a miss, and he hasn't been called the wide there, which is good. And he's bowled on the length there, just gone away for one run, which is great bowling, because this is what you want to do, you want to pitch the ball up as much as you can. Okay, that's been hit down the ground for four, but to be honest, he bowled so many single balls and a few dot balls here and there. These fours ain't gonna harm the over. It's another single, so yeah, it's gone for a few runs, but there's hardly anything here. Back of a length, but that's genuine back of a length there. Can't really see the runs, it's something like 66 or six overs or something. So here I come in again. Straight on the button, dot ball there. Fielder's just stopped to hitting the wall. That's one run off the wall. So another great ball, just back of a length. Angling in and straightening with the swing, so you can't take liberties with these sort of balls. Another one which the fielder's stopped, so it's another dot ball. I remember this is indoor cricket. Should be easy here. Easy dot ball there, so the set batsman has only scored one run of four balls. And the guy has just died over the ball again. So have a look at Prashant Patel here, he's wrong foot himself, that ball is right near him, it's bounced well ahead of him, and the guy hasn't even got a hand on it. Spawning my over there. There's a dot ball there. Back in the ball, he's caught away with it, and there's one run. And that's really good anticipation by Prashi's run all the way down the back to stop the second run. It's a wide ball down leg side. That's one off the wall. He's hit the ball so hard. I mean, how are you expect to run that? Don't ask me. It's a pretty good ball there. And there you go, Prashi and Patel stopping it with his belly. He needs to stop it this time. But yeah, just get something behind him, mate. And yeah, when you pitch the ball up, you see a bit of swing. The batsman swings their bat, they can't connect. And there's me coming to bowl again. That's one run off the wall. The 80 off seven overs here or something like that. That's backward. Then a bit too much width there, but I actually feel it done pretty well. Saved one run for me. So now I'm going to straighten the ball a bit more. And there you go. Guy thinks he's going to smash the ball down the ground. You see the great catch of all time. So 81 off 7 point something overs. And here you go, Wakayuna's coming in. A look at the loop on the ball, it's like a spinner bowling. 
Smashes the ball, smashes the ball back. Ah, oh, one handed catch. I love it. Look how he throws it away. Yeah, mate, throws away like he's caught them every single time in his life. He never catches anything. So, to the new batsman, I'm going to pitch the ball up, trying to get him LBW, and I get smashed down the ground for four. So, that's what happens when you're a medium pacer, you don't pitch the ball up. So, here you go, back again to back away length deliveries. That's exactly what I want to do. Another back row length. Now he's created a bit of room there and he's hit for one run, but I mean, what kind of batting is this? He's hitting the ball so hard, it looks like he wants to break the wall. So that's Frahan coming into bowl now. And he's bowled a pretty decent ball, he's been smashed. I was going to give Schaff a good being there with his misfield, but actually if you look at it, he's missed it by a mile, so it's not his fault. And to know he doesn't realise, but he's actually got a wicket, one off the wall. Yeah, if he edged the ball off the, off the wall, you can't catch it and it is out. So that's another wicket, new batsman in. Yeah, pitch the ball up, mate. You get away with all the wides. There you go, class ball. Pitching the ball up. Yeah, mate, pitch the ball up. Just one run off the wall. This is a good over. And here we go, coming to the death overs, bringing back Naz. It looks like the 94th 11 overs coming to the last over now. That's a pretty good run, actually. Yeah, and that's a wild throw, so they've got an extra run, so that's four runs off that ball. So now they're actually looking to run singles when it comes to the last over, so I don't know what they're doing in the last 10 overs. Here's another one they just hit and run, that's exactly how you bat. But they've taken their time doing this and the total isn't even that much. And, and it's costing them dearly, every single run is going for at least 3 or 4 runs and here you go, they've got about 100, they've got 108 runs off the 12 overs and that's a pretty, pretty poor target. We've knocked these off in like record time before so I'm not too worried about this total. So coming into bat is Azim Hussain and Shaftab Khalid. Shaftab is opening the bat in because he's the England A player, he's forced himself into opening, I don't want him to open, that's just the way it is sometimes. So first ball, Azim just pushes into the gap, experienced player around the three. And Schaff, I'm not sure about that shot. He looks like he's leg glancing it for four, but there's no four there, mate. You just have to tap the ball. And that's a lame ball, and that's exactly how you bat. Just tap the ball in the gap. And that should have been an easy run out, but there's nobody fielding there, and he's fielding it too wide anyway. So he got away with one, which is good. But yeah, you know what? Take your chances. I don't see many runners in this league. I mean, Azim's taking his time here, but as I say, there's no scoreboard pressure. Oh, he's just got done by a full toss there. It's gone underneath his bat. Yeah, hit the gap. Oh, that's an easy single. Oh my god. Oh jeez, got away with another one. That's unbelievable. I mean experience Azim is not running to this delivery. He's hit the ball right in the gap. That's the easiest run ever. And Shaftad, the inexperienced guy, is running the single. Azim decides no, and then he decides, well, I'm screwed here, I want to run. But to be honest, this is an easy single. He's hit the gap. He should know better because this guy is the guy who won us the semi-final with his batting display. He knocked his 25 not out in 15 balls and he was out of there. And that's how you back up. If you back up, you can run to the field if you fasten them. And that is a shot of the day, mate. It's like you hitting the ball for six. But there's no six out here, mate. Yeah, that's it. Just tap the ball to the fielder and let the opposition think, what am I seeing? Say boy, pick those gaps. Yeah, mate. Now they gained. The, oh my God, what was that? Look at this. If you get the opportunity to throw the stumps out when the guy's halfway down the pitch in the final, you take the opportunity. You don't look at the save in the one run. That is unbelievable. That's probably the worst thing I've seen. Uh, yep, that's the reaction of the bird. He's thinking, what am I playing here with, kids? Yeah, that's the only way you're gonna get a wicket, mate. Yeah, you can't run when the ball gets stuck in the net. You just get that one run. That's a great shot for three more. And look at this. Straight ball on middle stump. And that's what you do. Just tuck into the gap and run. That is unbelievable. That is such an easy single. I don't know what is him playing at today. He's hit the ball perfectly in the gap. He's not running. That's a good ball, so he's just defended down the ground. There's no scoreboard pressure, you don't need to run too much, but yeah, come on, mate. If you find the gaps, you run. Easy single there. Look at this. 
They're not even, they're, cru they're walking into the grease. Now Shafi hitting the ball hard now. The reason why is because we're running so many singles, they bring they brought middle and mid off up. And then they're now doing the field that we usually do, uh, saving the side balls. Look at that. Oh my God, that ball was just right next to the fielder and they ran the single. Sometimes make you think, can you do this outdoors? Yep, it's that lollipop full toss again that Azim missed. That's it, man. Hit that gap. And you run this one, but before you didn't run. They're pitching the ball up. Smash the ball past them. Don't worry, mate. Three runs there. Yeah, cross ball. Another free run. Just push it into the gap and run, boy. Yeah, calm down. That's 49 or 4 overs and we've got our first declaration when you get 25 not out you're off and that's a zim off and here comes our regular opening batsman our number six Naz Ali what Naz was doing in the tournament was he was batting at number six then I saw him practice before the match once and then I thought man this guy can hold a bat and you know what I'm gonna make you pitch it so you open the batting from now on and what he did was he was pitching the ball for singles he would have been opening this match but Shaftab uh, kind of like got his celebrity status in front of my face and he said to me no I'm opening so that's why he's opening and Naz is coming at number three there you go Naz perfect it's not about hitting the ball hard just hit those gaps and run boys there you go class now now shots learning indoor cricket there you go another free runs boy this is a free off the free off the free this is getting too easy Oh, I love these little touch the ball on the ground and run. Doesn't even hit the back wall and they're still running too. Yeah, you hit the ball too hard off the wall. I love it. Declare with a four. That's the best way to declare. Here's another knot out. Shaftab's going off and here comes our experienced little maestro Prashant Patel, the vice captain. The phenomenal average in the indoor league in Lords. He was averaging 60. Check this out. Yeah, first ball. God oh, tucks it into the gap and runs. And oh, he's out. Oh my God, he's out first ball. Oh, there you go, mate. He's done and dusted. Can't believe it. First ball and he's all gone. Oh no. Uh, what, what the flip? What's happening here? Oh my team just gave the bat back to him. Oh my God, he didn't even get in. Look, he's still not in, and his bat hasn't even got in yet, and he's run out. Oh my days, he got with murder there. Well, I don't care. He's there. So yeah, good on you, boy. Pushing the single in the gap and his run the single. I uh, feel has completely made a muck of that. Yeah, that's it, boy. Pitch the ball up, don't worry. Hit the ball. Run. You've done the job. Yeah, slam the ball back for four. Get that on camera. Another back left lame delivery. Hit the wall and run. That's all you want to see. Class shot. Look at that. In mid wicket, running the single. Check out that battle of Prashant, that £300 signed Adam Gilchrist bat. And it looks like a misfield, so he got three runs for that. Class. 94 of seven overs. And we really are taking our time here because there's no scoreboard pressure. So the aim of the game is not to lose a wicket and win the tournament. And that's Nazali not out. And here I am coming down the order as a true captain, giving everyone else a chance to bat. And the first instruction I got by Naz was, don't get out. Yeah, I really want to hear that, mate. And I want to come into bat, but Prash is telling me, go back to your mark, mate. I'm on strike. So here's a wide ball. We're 101 runs, a few runs left to win. And it's Prash hitting a single of the last ball of the over, so I'm not on strike. Check how I'm backing up. I'm ready. I'm ready to come back on strike. I want to be on camera. Prashad doing in singles. I checked the shot out. Patax! He's never played that shot in his whole career yet, but he wants to do it because he's on camera. He wants to smash that ball against the wall. I know exactly what he's playing at now. And as a result, you can see my backing up's about to stop. 
because I'm having none of this as a wide ball and I'm thinking mate Toll's literally finished man and I still haven't had a bat 110 runs were on yep that's the last ball and I have not got out my crease and that last time on strike I think I've got like I've got two runs to a win or something like that all I'm thinking of is not to get a bowl that first ball so I've got my body right behind the ball and that's actually a pretty good ball he's pitched the ball up and it's swung a bit here comes the next ball I'm sure this will do any runs because I'm not going to sit here defending and there you go, that's the first cover drive of the game, and I just hit a single, and I don't want to run, but I've been forced to run, and there you go, I've been forced to run, almost got to run out, but I made the single. So I wanted to face a few more balls because I'm on camera, but Prash has decided that I want to run, and we're going to finish the match off early. So here we are, this is how you become indoor champions or Middlesex, and shakes all around. And this is the ceremony, and we're just congratulating the balcony with all the supporters watching, and it's me going to collect the trophy. And here's me showing the trophy to my fans, my YouTubers, my TikTokers and everyone else. And like a true champion, gives the trophy away to the vice captain. And then we're checking to see if our name's engraved on there, if it is, and we'll be on there soon. So if you like what you've seen, please leave a comment, let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if we get a good response, I'll upload the next video where we play the Nationals and how we got battered in there. Yorker is hit into the gap and that's 50. Incredible stuff, really is one hell of a effort from him. He loves it, the fans are loving it. The dugout is incredibly happy because they're seeing a sensational 50 here.